like to talk about tonight is one of our very key projects, and that is our transport initiative. It has been phenomenal in terms of the impact that we've had on families. When Fred and I were at hospital in Red Cross when Sam had been moved and when he was really terminal, we noticed that we have the most incredible hospitals in South Africa, but many, many people, especially children and families who are facing chronic illness, are unable to get to their follow-up appointments and to their therapies, which is so important in terms of maintaining their health, especially the transplant patients. And we saw a need. touched us was that here were people that had equal access to some of the most amazing health care that you could get anywhere in the world, but in many cases didn't have bus fare to get there, to get their children there. And if a child passed away, they would have to get into a taxi and into public transport to go home. So this project is really about restoring dignity and just recognizing those families and those children in those moments and just letting them know that there's a community that cares. So Footprints for Sam is really about bringing hope and dignity and change to these families because as Fred said, an ICU is not a place for a child and that's what we learned for Sam. So we try and bring that hope and that beauty and that magic back into their lives. And that's your role as donors, and you have helped us to fulfill our dream. So thank you all very, very much. So when I met with Melissa for the first time, I was so touched by her story. And I just knew that this was something I wanted to be involved in. And David, we all have to give back at the end of the day. Uh, this world doesn't move and change unless we help make that change happen. Melissa and Fred, uh, I think in March 2018, a year ago, when um, there was a conference in Johannesburg called Risky Business, and Melissa and Fred um, gave their story at the, at the conference. It was very moving. It was a conference really for mostly healthcare providers, and I felt moved, very, very moved, because I actually felt as a healthcare provider, we were letting people down. and. Uh, I felt that there was, a, there was a need to try and set up some connection with what they were trying to do.